What's the most terrifying thing you can imagine? A bloodthirsty killer clown. A horde of zombies. Think again, because we're about to dive into the twisted nightmarish world of Cthulhu. A colossal monster so horrific that it will haunt your dreams forever. In today's episode of Tales from the Crypt Keeper, we are going to discover what lies beyond the most popular of Lovecraft's mythos. Our story begins in 1928 with a pulp horror master named H.P. Lovecraft. In his chilling short story, The Call of Cthulhu, published on Weird Tales, a pioneering pulp magazine that specialized in the horror and fantasy genres, Lovecraft introduced us to this nightmarish creature, and trust me, it's unlike anything you've ever encountered before. In the story, a young man named Francis Wayland Thurston follows a trail of clues left by his late granduncle, an anthropologist who had stumbled upon a cult that worshipped Cthulhu and the Great Old Ones. As Thurston delves deeper into his granduncle's research, he uncovers a nightmarish truth that threatens to shatter his sanity. Freaky, right? But that's just the beginning of this twisted tale. Imagine a colossal dragon-like entity with an octopus head, a scaled body claws capable of rending steel asunder, and wings so vast they could eclipse the sun itself. This being is known by many, yet fully understood by none, bearing titles that whisper of its dread nature and cosmic dominion. The High Priest of the Great Old Ones, a revered figure among entities whose existence predates the stars. The Great Dreamer, whose slumber beneath the waves is filled with the shaping of fates and nightmares, reaching into the minds of mortals and gods alike. The Lord of the Depths, ruling over the darkest trenches where light fears to tread. The thing that should not be, a testament to its defiance of natural order and the sanity of those who dare to comprehend its essence. These are but four of the infinite titles bestowed upon Cthulhu, an ancient being of immense power. Trapped for eons within the sunken city of Arlaye, located in the cryptic depths of the Pacific Ocean, it waits. A prison of eldritch architecture and drowned stone holds it not in defeat, but in anticipation. For Cthulhu, whose very existence bends the fabric of reality, the aligning of the stars is not a matter of if, but when and when such a time comes, this great dreamer shall awaken from its eon-old slumber. Its powers are as vast as the titles it bears, dominion over the seas and the creatures within, the ability to infiltrate dreams and twist them into nightmares, and a presence so overwhelming that merely gazing upon its form can unravel the mind. Cthulhu's awakening will signal a new epoch, where it will rise once more to reclaim the earth, reshaping it in the image of unfathomable depths from whence it came. But Cthulhu is more than just a monster. It represents the ultimate fear of the unknown, the terrifying realization that we're just insignificant specks in a universe that doesn't care about us. As Lovecraft wrote, the most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. Now let's dive into the enigmatic world of the Cult of Cthulhu, the ultimate fan club for the cosmos's most mysterious snoozer, the Great Dreamer himself. These aren't your average worshippers. They're a mix of the bold, the brave, and the slightly bonkers, all united by their devotion to an ancient tentacled cosmic entity who dreams of world domination from his underwater pad in Arlaye. Imagine secret meetings in eerie, forgotten places where the dress code strictly says robes and mysterious symbols only. They chant, they dance, awkwardly, given the robes, and they're all waiting for the stars to align. Why? To wake up their big, bad, cosmic deity so he can come out and play destroyer of worlds. It's the ultimate wake-up call, and trust me, you don't want to hit snooze on this one. The cult's got it all. Ancient spells that sound like they're out of a wizard's worst nightmare late-night gatherings that make your creepiest campfire stories look like fairy tales, and of course the undying hope that one day their underwater boss will rise again. Because who wouldn't want a giant, world-ending octopus for a god? So, if you ever dream of chanting arcane words under the moonlight, or simply fancy the idea of turning the world into an episode of Cosmic Horror Story, the Cult of Cthulhu might just be your kind of people. Just remember, it's all fun and games until the great dreamer wakes up. So where did Lovecraft get the inspiration for this mind-bending monstrosity? Well, he drew from a variety of sources, including ancient mythology, gothic literature, and his own nightmares. 
One of the key influences was the concept of the Ancient Ones or Elder Gods found in various mythologies, such as the Sumerian and Babylonian creation myths. These were primordial deities that predated humanity and were often depicted as monstrous, incomprehensible beings. Lovecraft also took inspiration from the works of earlier horror writers like Edgar Allan Poe, Lord Dunsany, and Arthur Macon, who explored themes of cosmic indifference and humanity's insignificance in the grand scheme of things. But perhaps the most significant influence was Lovecraft's own perspective on life. He believed that the universe was a vast, uncaring place, and that humanity's existence was ultimately meaningless in the face of cosmic forces beyond our comprehension. This existential dread permeated his writing and gave rise to the concept of cosmic horror. So, in a way, Cthulhu is a manifestation of Lovecraft's deepest fears and anxieties. A terrifying embodiment of the unknown, the incomprehensible, and the indifference of the cosmos towards our insignificant species. Lovecraft's creation of Cthulhu and the cosmic horror genre has left an indelible mark on the world of literature, art, and popular culture. From tabletop role-playing games like Call of Cthulhu and board games like Cthulhu Death May Die, to horror video games like The Sinking City, this tentacled terror has inspired countless adaptations and reinterpretations. But here's the really wild part. Cthulhu has become so iconic that it's even been turned into children's toys and books. Can you imagine snuggling up with a plush Cthulhu doll before bedtime? Or reading a whimsical story about the courteous Cthulhu to your little sibling? It's like the ultimate fusion of horror and cuteness. And let's not forget about the impact Cthulhu has had on popular culture as a whole. You'll find references and homages to this cosmic horror icon in everything from movies and TV shows to music and fashion. It just goes to show how deeply ingrained this tentacled terror has become in our collective psyche. Cthulhu has transcended its horror roots and become a cultural phenomenon, a symbol of our fascination with the unknown and the existential dread that comes with confronting the vastness of the universe. At the heart of Lovecraft's twisted mythos lies the Necronomicon, a fictional grimoire attributed to the mad Arab Abdul al -Hazred. This tome is said to contain ritual incantations and forbidden knowledge about the Great Old Ones, a race of ancient, powerful cosmic entities that includes Cthulhu. Now, I know what you're thinking, a book of evil spells and rituals, sign me up! But trust me, you don't want to mess with the dark forces contained within the Necronomicon. This book is like the ultimate Pandora's box, and once you start meddling with the cosmic horrors it describes, there's no going back. But the Necronomicon isn't just a macophon or plot device, it's a symbol of humanity's endless pursuit of knowledge, even when that knowledge might be better left unknown. It represents our insatiable curiosity and our desire to unravel the mysteries of the universe, no matter how terrifying or sanity-shattering those mysteries might be. So, in a way, the Necronomicon is a warning. A cautionary tale about the dangers of delving too deep into the abyss of seeking out that which should remain hidden. Because once you've glimpsed the cosmic horrors that lurk beyond the veil of reality, there's no going back to blissful ignorance. But Lovecraft's work was just the beginning. Other writers and creators have expanded upon the Cthulhu mythos, contributing to a rich tapestry of stories that explore the fragility of human sanity and the allure of the unknowable. One of the most notable contributors was August Derleth, who introduced the concept of the Cthulhu mythos and established a cyclic cosmology where the Great Old Ones and other cosmic entities battle for dominance over the universe. Can you imagine being caught in the crossfire of a war between these ancient, all-powerful beings? Talk about a nightmare scenario. In Durla's stories, we learn that the great old ones like Cthulhu were once rulers of the cosmos, but were eventually defeated and banished by a race of even more powerful entities known as the Outer Gods. But these cosmic horrors are always lurking, waiting for the right moment to reassert their dominance and plunge the universe back into chaos and madness. So there you have it, horror fans! A crash course in the twisted nightmarish world of Cthulhu. From its humble beginnings in a pulp horror story to its widespread cultural influence, this tentacled terror has captured the imagination of generations, reminding us of our insignificance in the face of the unknown and the vast, indifferent cosmic forces that surround us. But don't let that existential dread get you down. Embrace the madness, revel in the cosmic horror, and let Cthulhu haunt your dreams forever. After all, what's a little sanity in the face of such mind-bending terror? 
Fin Glee Maklu Naf Cthulhu Arlai Wag Nafa Tagan. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll be the one to unearth a long forgotten tome, unleashing a new wave of cosmic horror upon the world. Just remember, some mysteries are better left unexplored, some doors are better left unopened. But if you're brave or foolish enough to peer beyond the veil of reality, Cthulhu and its eldritch kin will be waiting for you, ready to shatter your fragile human psyche and plunge you into a realm of madness and despair. So tread carefully, horror fans, the cosmos is a vast, uncaring place, and the things that lurk beyond the edges of our reality are far more terrifying than anything you could ever imagine. But isn't that what makes it so deliciously thrilling? Let us know in the comments. And thus, we conclude our inaugural mythos exploration on Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Haven't read the story yet? Dive into our rendition on our channel, where you can experience the Call of Cthulhu through AI narration and illustration by clicking on the video appearing here. Stay tuned for more on our channel.